Listen, I don't care what any of you say. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Fortnite Field. Big shout out to Huggy Bear 001 for making such a dope, 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 dope stadium. We got Tilted Towers. Look, we got the bus. We got the bus in the background. We got the island over there. We got Fatal Fields. Ladies and gentlemen, Fatal Fields. Big shout out to Huggy Bear for making a dope stadium. Check him out. I'm going to leave his link at the top of the description. Now, welcome back to episode 40 of the Jimmy World Road to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, obviously you saw we are in Fortnite Fields. We got Tilted to the right. We've got Fatal Fields to the left. We got a guy double ramping in left center. We got a guy boxed up cranking 90s, protecting himself. Yeah, I don't want to see me on the mouse and keyboards. I've gotten a lot better. Anyways, once again, shout out to Huggy Bear 001 for the disgusting, amazingly accurate, very well done Fortnite fields. Uh, if you guys want to see any other stadiums he's created, make sure you guys check them out. And our first at bat in Fortnite fields is an absolute bomb. And unlike some of the other stadiums we've played in, that's got a little bit distance to the right field. Home run number 16 for number 14. Don Mattingly could not be happier. 415 right. Like I said, we actually hit that a decent way away. 107 off the bat. Domingo Herman. Getting a little taste of his medicine. I'm beating him up here at the plate. And you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a avoid those jokes. Uh, they're not funny. Um, but he's on the Pirates, and we're going to put a whooping on him. Anyway, top of the third. A little bit late on the curveball. Made up my mind very late. How have you guys been hitting lately? Uh, I've been struggling a little bit. I've been struggling a little bit. That home run is nice to get that little chip off my shoulder, but I've been struggling a little bit. The hit streak did continue. That is well hit. Right fit center. And then Brian Reynolds, I mean, you got to hit it a lot harder than that to get it past him. Nice play in the power alley to prevent an extra base hit and quite possibly my first triple. It looks deep to right center. And we've got like 50-something speed now. Anyways, if you guys see, I'm trying to get a stadium involved uh, probably like every day, at least once a day. So if you guys have any really dope stadiums, they got to be good stadiums. Let me know. That one was a little bit early, but we're still hitting that one pretty well. Right fielder going back track. Up against the wall makes the play. We are up 4 nothing, but that might not be enough. Top of the seventh, one for three on the day. Anthony Banda, left-handed pitcher due up now. That one's down. That was a good pitch to hit. I was a little bit out in front. 92 with the four-seamer means we're going to have to sit back a little bit. Circle change, curveball, and a cutter. We know what he's got now. Only, stu only stuff that breaks in. Actually, the circle changer breaks away a little bit. Um, but curveball would break in cutter will break in no two seamer no sinker. So that's good news But he just he just pumped it at 93. All right, so we are wary about that That one's gonna get ripped over his head. Can we round the base? That's up against the wall. Let's see. It's not that uh Ah, we had it just because the throw was offline, but we'll settle with the single He got that ball in pretty quickly, but the throw was offline We will hold off to a single we absolutely crushed it and I noticed the field's not that deep Right field seems to be a lot deeper. He got that ball in very quickly. Nice play, though. Top of the ninth, we're getting our second at bat versus Anthony Banda. He's at 59 pitches, which means that tank is not that bad, actually. He must be a starting pitcher because he's at orange or yellow. Not really too sure what that is. Big curveball for a strike. Breaks right over the plate, and they will happily take that. And I will happily give him that strike. Tip my cap to him. Slide step. Uh-oh. Focus on the guy at the plate. Don't focus. On the guy at first with 66 speed and 18 steel. He's not going to hurt you as much as the guy who had 55 home runs in two months last year. That one's hit well to center field. I think we just missed that. That's a pitch outside. Good timing. How was that ball not hit more to right center or right field? I don't understand physics if I'm being honest. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, we go two for five with a home run. We will take it. Game one, we get a win here in Fortnite Field. We also got our first home run. Ladies and gentlemen, do me that favor, all right? I put out these videos for you guys every day, all year. We're not missing all year. Hit the like button for your boy, Jimmy. Subscribe if you guys are new. If you're enjoying these videos, all I ask is you hit the like button. And um, if you're not liking these videos, hit the dislike button. Let me know. It's all good. I, I see the dislikes. Don't you worry about it. Top of the first, we got Grant Nunez. Try to check swing, was unable to hold up. We're batting 423 on the season. 7 and 15. Pirates are dead last in Central, and I'm going to be honest, they're probably going to sit there. That ball's hit well, but this field is big, and Brian Reynolds is going to make a play there on the run. Again, this stadium got a little bit of get, a little bit of depth to it. Top of the second, we're getting our second at bat with runners on the corner and two outs. We do got a four-run lead, so shout out to the boys in blue, the, the Finn squad. 
the Marlins are putting up some runs. Last seven games, we have been hitting a little bit better. 552. We will take that because we were batting damn near 300. Been struggling. I don't know what it is about MLB The Show, but I'm pretty sure they do their testing for Diamond Dynasty by tuning sliders and road to the show and seeing how everybody's hitting reacts. Because I, I, I talked to some of my friends who also play road to the show and they say, yeah, I noticed I'm not hitting nearly as well. I didn't change any settings. And suddenly for the last like two, three days, I haven't been hitting. I go last two, three days. I can't hit anything. And it ha every year it happens to this everyone at the same time. So I know y'all are modifying uh, the back end sliders. Stop it. Do that in Diamond Dynasty. Leave us off the online stuff. We hate it when you combine ball player and online this year. Yeah, yeah, separated a little bit this year, but still, leave us alone. We play offline for a reason. Anyways, top of the second. Runner on first. We'll be going. We got Jorge Soler on deck. I've done a good job talking and taking three pitches out of zone. That's, that is rare for me. Lord of mercy. There's, you cannot miss that pitch. 94 mile an hour fastball right down the chute and you absolutely missed it. We end up pulling it way foul. So got to do a better job at swinging at a 3-2 fastball. I mean, that ball is hit well. Left center is not that deep. Brian Reynolds looking. He's making it at the track, man. This guy is everywhere. He's a dang spider monkey. He is literally everywhere. I don't know if spider monkeys are everywhere, but I feel like that fit there. Oh, man. I didn't hit that ball all that well, if I'm being honest. I don't know if I deserve for it to go, but it looked like it had a chance. I saw the left fielder give up, and I knew, and I keep seeing Reynolds running. I'm like, he's going to make a stupid catch up against the wall. This man called off the left fielder like 200 yards still away from the ball. Insane. Here comes Brian Reynolds. Ripping one to left. And it is a base hit, and they continue. First and second, nobody out bottom of the fourth down, up by five. We got a double play. We're out of trouble. Franklin Labor, Labor or Labor, and no, you didn't. Runner will go back. We will pick it up. I hate that animation. Adding that animation was the worst thing. Breaking down to pick up a bunt and then throw with your body open. We got out of that inning, so thank, thank God, but we are 0 for 2 on the day. Grant Nunez is still out there. Although he is down. That is ripped down the line. This time, I'm going to. That one, uh, we should have a double. Look, even on that one, maybe, and then, you know, we hit that a little bit harder. We're thrown out at second base. Only, only, you are way too tall for shortstop. Man's is like six foot seven. The tallest shortstop, I think, of all time, which is crazy. Top of the six, Bryce Wilson. We're grounding out to first base. All right, the history continues, which is all that matters. We do got a home run in Fortnite Fields. We just got to win game two, which is all I care about. And I want a sweep of these Pittsburgh Pirates. These Buckeyes are not good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm swinging over everything. Sinkers are, have the most movement in the world. I don't know what's going on. I'm be the show, but not loving it. All right. Let's finish off with the bang. Game three. I think game three will push our hit streak up to 40. We're very close to jolting Joe DiMaggio. We will head into game three looking for a sweep. We've already won this series, but... You got to put down bad teams. We got boosted stats thanks to the guys on base. Uh, I don't know who's on base. Is it Jazz? Who's? That's inside. That'll be inside. I am boosted two and one. I'm guessing Joey Wendell. I don't think it's Brian De La Cruz. It's got to be Joey Wendell. We have finally hit bro status with Joey Wendell. So uh, I'll check that out after the game. But I will take that. That's going to be ripped in a gap. Let's go. On your horse, everybody. The bases should clear. We should have to. What are you saying, Blue? What are you saying, Coach? You waving me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First triple. First triple. Let's go. A triple and two RBIs for Jimmy Ward. Our first triple. I had a feeling this was going to be the field we do it in. I had. A, they don't even say anything. Just the number one. That's all it said on the screen. I had a feeling. I had a feeling this was going to be the game. We hit our first career triple. I will take it. I didn't know it was the game, but I knew this would be the stadium. Right center field is so incredibly deep. But we will take that. Oh, that's outside. Let it go. That's outside. We hit it well, but let it go. It's like the, the stadium, the wall. We got. It, it, I thought that was going to be the ones we'd hit triples in, but the stadium was so big that triples, they ended up being inside the Parkers. We ended up hitting like four inside the Parkers. Anyways, that's a good changeup. Honestly thought that was... 
a fastball down the middle. It didn't move my PCI, and it broke just under the barrel, and we end up spoiling it foul way out in front. On the fastball, but early. All right, so if we're early on the fastball, there's no way we're ever going to hit a changeup. Quinn Priester on the mound, obviously a top prospect in the Pittsburgh Pirates organization for some time. Now, now in the bigs, and we swing at a pitch nowhere near the zone. We fly out to right field in the third inning, and runner is not tagging. Throw is offline, but Oneo is there backing up for out number Two. We move to the bottom of the third. Jose Ureña on the bump versus Michael Chavis. This is a ground ball. This is a double play waiting to happen. So I should I try to step back. It didn't let me. That one's gonna get ripped, and it is a base hit. So it ends up. Uh oh, you got him at three. I'm here. Yeah, good throw, good throw. We end up holding him to just a single. I, I try to back up right before that, and it didn't let me. And now I, I can't because Brian Reynolds is. He is, he is likely to bunt, and that would piss me off. To the left, and it scoots by. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Base is loaded with nobody else, and we've been picked on twice. No errors, just two scorchers, but maybe if I'm not playing in, that's a double play ball, and guess what? We gave up a six spot, so we're going to have to go try hard mode. We're going to have to go full Fortnite, sweaty builds, and try to help our team out. Hit the ball pretty well. But it's ripped at the second baseman. We got one at bat left. At least down by three runs. Need the offense to pick it up. I'm, I'm a little got Chavis. And, and then that should have been a double play. And not really. That ball was scorched. Brian Reynolds. This game just constantly bunting. I have to take a couple steps in first and second. Nobody out. Otherwise, he 100% would have bunted on me. So it's just lose, lose. Uh, not really. Really wish. We made that play. There is a line drive on a sinker. So Aaron Fletcher does have a sinker ball. And that's actually his main pitch. And he's only got three sinker slider changeups. So uh, let's stay back. There's a slider. It's not going to come over the plate. One, two count. 10,000 in attendance at Fortnite Field. Meanwhile, in Miami, we get 15. That's ripped. <laughs> that is not ripped. And they throw to second. There's, that was unnecessary to throw to second on that but. We end up losing game three. Anyways, that's going to be it for Fortnite Fields. We, we did get a home run, but anyways, yeah, once again, check out Huggy Bear 001 down in the description on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!